Hello, this is Nadine O, and this is my account of having a vitrectomy on August the 7th, 2020, during the COVID-19 pandemic. And today is day 16. And I can tell you right now, um, there are a few things going through my head uh, about how I feel today and what's going on in my struggles. My struggles right now are, I feel as though I'm at the midway point in terms of the healing process. I'm nearing the finish line, being able to go back to work, to be able to go back to what I normally do, which um, I can't, I can't lift you know, heavy objects. I I have to be careful about that. Um, I'm bumping into things because I'm slightly impaired on my right side. Um, no, <laughs> I have I have no no vision. Uh, well, little vision is very blurry right now, but it is coming back, which I'm excited about. But today I want to talk to you about how. Life sometimes puts you in these circumstances where you have to slow down and, and you have to listen to your body. And uh, sometimes we wait too long to hear the call from your body to say, slow down, Nadine, take some time, be silent, rest, think about where you are. Um, and here I am, stir crazy. Um, I've said that a number of times, but I'm just used to doing things and to actually um, have these limitations. Um, it's It's been challenging. Um, part of that is just sitting with oneself and just reflecting on this journey of having this um, pretty intense surgery on my eye and then waiting for the um, the sight to come back in that eye is, um, you know, the anticipation of when, when is it going to be all clear. Um, the and, and that has to do with the success of the surgery. The surgery has a 90% chance uh, success rate. Well, those numbers, I love those numbers. Excuse me, I truly do love those numbers. It could have been a lot worse. So, not complaining, it's just the fact that it's like I'm watching paint dry and I didn't even do the painting. Um, so I can't even get excited about that. I'm just waiting. I'm in this waiting stage, uh, but very, very grateful um, for the opportunity to share this experience with you. Um, so I just want to share the things that I'm grateful for with you and um and I would like to ask you to sh share what things you're grateful about. For me today, I am grateful to have breath, have food in the fridge, have um, a job, being a, um, an essential employee. I was able to work from home four out of the five days. So that was truly, truly a blessing. There are a lot of people that didn't have that opportunity. And I really, really feel for them. And I'm praying that um, opportunities come their way. I, I am grateful for the success of the surgery, the initial surgery. And I am waiting and I have faith that everything is going to be okay. Um, I am grateful for the health of my friends and family. I am grateful for the ability to be able to see at all. There are so many people who have visual impairments, are um, legally blind, and those challenges uh, make it difficult uh, in terms of employment and um, you, your life is an open book around other folks. Um, 
because you can't really see. So I feel really blessed uh, with the eyes that were given to me. And um, I, that that's all I, I can say is just be grateful. And with COVID-19 pandemic going on and people uh, struggling, I, I'm just so, so grateful. Um, if I can help in any way, I, I try to help. Um, it is, it's just so sad that we are in this place. But on the other hand, um, I think there are things that are happening that give us the opportunity to be um, better human beings. So um, I just wanted to share what I was grateful about today and on day 16. And I'm wondering, what is it that you're grateful for? What are you truly grateful for? So if you have time, leave your thoughts in the comment section and share this video if you feel as though it would be um, inspiring to someone else. Um, I just, you know, I, I'm taking this opportunity to share this part of my life, uh, which is not a usual thing for me. I'm actually quite shy, so getting used to talking in front of the camera and I appreciate all the support from all of my amazing new friends um, on social media. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, love and light.